What's going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel, another video. Today we're gonna to be doing another flip cup, but it's gonna be with one color. The one color we're using is this beautiful violet color right here. So let me go over the colors and we'll get right into it. I have a light violet. I have a gray that I mixed with a black and white. I have a lighter gray that I mixed with black and white. White or black and titanium white. The pouring medium I used is the Artist Loft Pouring Medium from Artist Loft. <laughs> Simple enough. And the silicone that I'm using is this Coconut Milk Hair Serum right here from OGX. And with that, we're going to get into our pour. All right, so I want to start with lighter color. I'm probably going to stay away from the black. The black is mainly just so I have enough for the corners here. I do want this to have like a cool look to it. So I'm kind of going to intersperse these colors. At some point, you're going to see me let the colors churn through each other. And then at others, you're going to see me just layering them gently. But I hope everybody's having a wonderful day today. I'm having a great day. Any day that I'm in my art room is a good day. I'm making my last minute preparations and orders for the class coming up. I'm very excited. The class is like a week out. I'm gonna get to meet and paint with you lovely humans. I'm trying to order some helpful stuff for you guys when you get to the class. So for like the open cup class, trying to get like a, a cookie cutter set, like the same one I use for you guys to take home. And yeah, I'm just excited, you guys. It's gonna be awesome. So I'm gonna let this purple churn just a little bit. And that's the end of the purple. Let me use this gray here to push the rest of that purple further down. And that's the end of that one. All right, what else do we got? Got a little white, not too much, not really enough to do too, too much with. And the last little bit of gray. But what we're hoping for is some really nice pops of contrast between the whites and the blacks and the violets. I think before I flip it, I'm gonna pop these bubbles there on top already. Look we'll at the cells. Oh my goodness. All right, and a messy flip. Oh, well that wasn't very messy. All right, yeah, this thing looks pretty cool already. I really like the bands of color, so cool. And we're just gonna flip this thing up, and see what happens. Oh, look at that little worm looking cell that just created itself right there. That's so cool. All right, let me take the heat gun to it. I'm gonna let that cup drain just a little. There's some really cool violets going on in here where it churned with the white and the black, it created like a lighter and a darker version of them. So that's really awesome. And you're just watching these cells just come to life, just heating up the, the oils and allowing the oil to push through the surface here. Yeah, we got a lot of nice colors. I really love what's going on here. I think that's going to be the star of the show. And very, very light with the torch. I don't want no crazy, huge explosion of cells. Because, I mean, we haven't even thinned the layers yet. I might not need this, but it makes me feel better. 
have a little bit of pain on the corners. So the sides are never gonna have a problem getting over. It's always the, it's always the corners. Oh man, I can't wait for this class, you guys. It's gonna be so much fun. It's really nice to be able to do that one-on-one -on -one with people. I need to start my Zoom classes here. I need to figure out how to do that. So I think that would be the most beneficial. Then people don't have to travel. I think that would be awesome. All right, well, I think, I think we're ready to spin it. Uh, add a little bit there. Yeah, that's really cool looking, okay. All right, you guys, you ready? We're gonna spin this thing out. It looks so nice right now. All right, just a little spin. Take those cells that were already formed and make them giant. So right now we, I mean, we're already getting little cells opening up on their own, which is awesome. And that's just because we thinned out that layer of paint just enough to where it's allowing for more cells to form. And now we're just gonna take our heat gun again and just lightly go over the surface, warming up these thinner layers now, and letting some additional cells grow. Beautiful little pops of color. I really love how there's really nice spots of violet. And the violet is mixed between like the whites and the darks. So nice. Absolutely love this. Wow, some of these cells are so cool looking. They have some really interesting, like irregular shapes that looks like a mushroom to me. That is so awesome. All right, well, instead of me just staring at it, let's get down there and check this thing out. There is a whole lot of things going on. There's my little mushroom cell right there. Very wispy and just beautiful little bullseye cells going throughout it. Some of these cells are really odd shaped, which is cool. Very interesting how the oils flow. And this thing dried really well. The little mushroom guy grew, but he's still there. It's pretty amazing how just one color mixed with varying grays and whites and black can create just a really nice composition. If you want to watch another video just like this, click the screen right now and I'll see you there.